Hey collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So we are approaching eclipse season, which means that a lot of things are going to be changing. A lot of things are going to go haywire. A lot of things are going to be amazing. They're going to transform. This is eclipses bring anything and everything. So expect change. That's that's as simple as it can get. Just expect change, whether it's positive change, whether it's neutral. Sometimes it can bring what feels like a negative change, but the purpose is always to help. It's always to transform so that things in your life um, go in a way that is indicative of progress, right? And not regression. So even bad things will ultimately lead you to your best path and to a better place. And that's the hardest thing to accept about negative situations and bad situations. But I think that you know, the reason why astrology is so popular and the reason why tarot is a thing is because we're always looking for the brighter side of a situation. We're always looking for a deeper meaning, um, you know, a silver lining. And this whole, you know, world that we're in, spirituality wise, you know, it helps us to do that. So even if you're going through a rough time, just know that there's always a deeper meaning. There's always something good that's going to come out of it if you if you look hard enough and if you listen clearly um but with that being said while i was meditating on the collective reading um the phrase which i don't know if it's a real phrase or if i just made it up but or if i you know heard it in my mind for a reason but it, it was when the dam breaks the water flows right so um you know, when we feel our weakest, right? When we feel like things are just out of our control and we feel like giving up, right? That is vulnerability. That is us saying, I relinquish all control. I surrender. It's kind of like you just, you're just limp, right? You're lifeless. You're for a second there, you know, you just, you can't do it anymore, right? It's, it's that feeling of weakness that almost feels like freedom because you just, you let go. And so when a dam breaks, it's a similar thing. It's like, yeah, the dam is not strong enough to hold the water back. But then all of a sudden, the water flows. It's like, that's so powerful. And maybe being weak is just a release. Maybe it's freedom. And maybe we just need to see it that way. So I don't know why that's coming through. Maybe some of you are feeling like you don't have it in you anymore. Like everything is too much. Maybe you feel overwhelmed. Maybe you feel, you know, stressed out. Just let it flow whatever it is just let it flow um so i've actually been shuffling this deck even before recording i've been doing doing the whole nine um i don't i don't shuffle fancy i just do that but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just let it rest now and i'm gonna let the the tarot kind of tell me a story so i'm gonna just pick one card at a time we're gonna see how this goes if you like this then let me know and i'll do a little bit more readings like that just to kind of take a break from the the regular shuffling method that I use. But to start out, we have the Fool, which I love because not only is this the epitome of let it flow, right? Because this is all about taking a leap of faith, but there's also a decent amount of water um, below her, right? So there's that water that flew after the dam broke and now she's free, right? This is the freedom I'm talking about. She's ready to take that leap of faith. She's got nothing to lose. And maybe that's what it's about. Maybe it is it is good to surrender and, and get to that point sometimes because then you really feel like you have nothing to lose and only to gain. So if it's a perspective thing, right? We can choose to see it that way or we can choose to see it as the end of the world. But regardless, we always have the option to take that chance for ourselves. So I love seeing that fool there. Um, and then we have the Eight of Cups. So walk away. Walk away and let it flow that is the theme um it's interesting there's also a body of water here right she's walking away from the water and into you know the open area but there's a freedom there there's a there's a feeling of peace from this eight of cups there's something about just releasing purging and just letting go maybe some of you have to let go of something right now and that's been the hardest part right maybe allowing yourself that type of freedom is not as easy as it seems but you're starting to realize okay this is where it begins this is where i begin my story is by walking away letting go going with the flow right letting everything just come out so 
It's interesting. Feels very sequential, that fool and then that eight of cups. Let's see what else we have. The wheel. That's huge. So we're taking a leap of faith. We're walking away, right? And then the wheel starts to turn. And like I said, this is the beginning of your story. That's amazing. Right after the wheels, the page of cups. Maybe right now, a lot of you are feeling like what you are afraid to let go of is the best you'll get, right? Maybe some of you, this could be a relationship or a situation where you think, well, if I walk away now, then what do I have? It's kind of like the universe is saying, well, if you walk away and, you know, you really assume the position of taking that leap of faith, then the wheel starts to turn and then guess what? New love shows up. New situations, new experiences, new people. You're not going to be devoid of it. You're just going to need to be open to, you know, attract it. So a lot of you are thinking worst case scenario and saying, well, if I walk away, then I'm walking away from everything I've ever known. And then that's it. That's that's everything you've ever known, but it's not everything you will know, right? There's still so much more for you to experience. So that page of cups is, again, this is the beginning of your story now. All right, let's see. Nine of swords. Yeah, there it is. There's that concern. Well, what if, what if it doesn't show up, right? What if... I, I walk away, I let go, I let the water flow because the dam broke and, and I'm just stuck there, right? Some of you are really in that worst case scenario mindset and I understand it's hard not to, right? As humans, we're going to do that. We're going to catastrophize and we're going to think the negative stuff and it's going to seep in and it's going to consume us until we take away the power from it and say, you know what? No, I have control. It's not going to go bad. It's going to go good. Right? We need to talk ourselves into this sometimes, and that really is the power of manifestation. But for the sake of the Nine of Swords, you cannot let these types of thoughts win because then it becomes who you are. And then right behind the sun is the moon. Or sorry, not the sun. The, wow. Okay, maybe we'll see the sun soon because I guess that makes sense. The Nine of Swords. I don't know why I said the sun. But I guess, okay, we'll, we'll keep... We'll keep that in the back of our mind. Right behind the Nine of Swords is the moon, which is the unknown. So maybe even some of you are thinking, okay, well, if I walk away from everything I've ever known, that means I'm walking into the unknown and that stresses me out. So this Nine of Swords is that precursor anxiety to you knowing that the unknown is before you if you choose to take a leap of faith and walk away. But again, you doing that allows for the wheel to turn. And if the wheel turns and things, yes, they're technically going to be unknown until they're not. All right, let's see what else we have. Six of cups. Then there's the comparison of the past, right? It's like we walk into the unknown and then we start comparing. Well, this is a little different than that. And this person is a little different than, than that person. And sometimes comparisons don't really help us out if we're supposed to be looking for something new. Um, I feel like maybe even the Six of Cups could be that some of you are holding on to the past or, you know, going through periods of nostalgia because something that you lost, you still care about. Or maybe you feel like you're never going to be the same person without that person. Or, you know, maybe it's there's a family member, maybe there's a pet, maybe there's just someone that you had a healthy relationship with that is no longer in your life and you're telling yourself, well, I'm just not the same person. And you know what? that's okay. Accept it. Accept it. Let it, let that be your truth. If you really believe that way and then release it, right? We don't have to hold on to those things just because they're real, right? It's like, we don't have to keep our chest of secrets with us every single day, just because they're there. We have to learn to, you know, make peace with our past, validate our own feelings but separate ourselves from them from time to time so that we can have a moment of sanity, right? So we can give ourselves grace. And I feel like that is the whole idea between accept, uh, the whole idea about um, acceptance, right? So I feel like that's Six of Cups is about accepting something. It's like, yes, it's true and it can be real. And we're never trying to invalidate that for you, but maybe accepting it is what's going to set you free from constantly comparing the present with the past. And then we have judgment. Yeah, some of you need to release 
some sort of judgment you have about yourself, which could be connected to the past. And so, and this is going to be so important because if you're choosing to take that chance and flow and walk away and let the wheel turn and let love in and, you know, release the anxieties, if you're going to, if you're going to do any of that, then you have to release the judgments now because so much of your future is going to be dependent on you allowing yourself to be in a clear canvas, right? If your canvas isn't clear and there's already all kinds of stuff on it and paint and images and things that don't help support this new journey, then you're starting off on the wrong foot, right? We need to clear the canvas and remove all judgment now so that all you have is this open space to add in new colors. And wow, right behind judgment is the Ace of Pentacles. And speaking of colors, right, there's there's this beautiful pentacle here and it's it's the beginning, it's the root. It's like there's little, there's even little roots coming out of it. This is truly the beginning of your next chapter. It starts now, but some of you need to allow it. I feel like the Ace of Pentacles could also be that a lot of you that are hoping for some sort of new opportunity, like a specific one to come after you take this chance, the universe is confirming that it is. Some of you are thinking, well, I'm only okay with walking away from my current situation if I'm for sure going to find love or if I'm for sure going to find the job of my dreams or, well, you know, start my career. It's like you're only okay with thinking about doing something for yourself if something is guaranteed. And the universe is saying, for those of you, it is. Just don't worry. It is guaranteed. We got you. Right? Even the universe is giving you reassurance about that, which is very specific for some of you. All right, one more. Four of Swords. This is rest assured. This is universe saying you can rest now. You can, can take a break. You can take a nap. It's going to be taken care of. Right? Some of you maybe don't feel like you're being taken care of. Right? Maybe you don't feel like you have enough um, support. Or maybe you don't have someone saying, just just take that chance on yourself because it's going to be okay. You know, maybe someone isn't making you feel safe to do something for yourself or you're not getting that encouragement or you don't have that support, st that support system. You know what? I'll be your support system. Let the universe support you. Let, let the universe, you know, confirm and reassure you that you're being taken care of. Some of you need to rest, not just physically, but mentally, right? Emotionally, you've been going through, you know, all kinds of, you know, scenarios in your mind thinking how is it going to go when I finally let the dam break and the universe is saying the water is going to flow don't you worry about it we'll take care of it just go with the current All right so some of you can now just rest knowing that your heart you see how it's here not only is it intact but it's safe yeah she's in a pile of I don't know is that straws or branches or I don't know but it's the earth she's cradled in the earth and she is safe so Really hope that this was helpful and insightful. Um, and if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.